Hello everybody, today we are looking at Zend form and specifically we want to learn how to show Zend form elements in the HTML table rather than in the, de the default way. This is a semi-advanced class. Uh, it is supposed that uh, you will profit from it if you have already created a Zend form, a classic, a simple one, a classical one, the one that is shown in the manual. A classical default way of doing a Z form would look like this. L per default. Zend is using definition list, a DD HTML tag, and it, this is fine if you have uh, two or three input fields. If you have more, your form would look like this one that you are looking at. It will go uh, vertically high, long, and the user would need to scroll the screen to get to the end of it, and this does not look good, and designers want to have more control over where to position the form elements. Our goal is to achieve, s to show the same form, but in this format. How to do it? This is a two-step uh, solution, a very simple one. Of course, you can write your own decorator classes, but this is not this is what we teach in the Dominican Republic, this is not what we learn here. Here we will learn um, by uh, the getting more control by creating a PHTML file which contains the table we, we want to have, and secondly by telling the controller to use this file. That's the, this is the whole logic. Therefore, uh, how the, wh wh what do I mean by PHTML file? This is the file that you need to create and you will put uh, your form elements uh, inside it. As you can see, this uh, HTML form has a table inside of it and this table has two rows of cells. You are free to use not only the input elements but any method that ZendForm gives for your disposal. For example, I have used uh, getAction. You set the action in the controller, that means by the action uh, we mean the URL with all those get parameters that Zend is passing from uh, one page to another, and uh, that you set the action in the controller and you get the action right here inside your form. I call this form, this is my name for the file, onerecordtable.phtml. This is the first step of our work. The second step is to go into the controller and uh, we are in the index action, very basic action script. Uh, on the top, the top lines uh, are getting a record from a from a database table and then we need a, an instance of a Zend form of, or, or, or rather of our class extending the Zend form and we save this instance in the variable which you can see here named book to show and now at this moment before we send book to show to the view form before we assign it to the form, we need to tell Zend to use the PHTML file that we have just created. How to do it? I'm, I will do some programming, not much, it's uh, one line of code, also split. Please be patient. I am using here, and this is the, the core of today's exercise, the set decorators method of the Zend form. Many arrays in Zend, as you can tell.
the identifier is view script please note that view script index of an array is case sensitive the one that I have just written and here I put the name of the file I have created and I said that the name of the file is one re record table and that's it that's it. This set decorators method will tell Zend to use our uh, PHTML file and not the Zend default uh, definition list. Now let's check if it works. I go to R F5, refresh the screen. Voila! Yes, it works. We have achieved our goal. We have shown the same form only by doing one change in the controller and this is what we wanted to achieve thank you very much for your attention and please keep checking uh, training on calibration.com where we offer courses in the Dominican Republic thank you